Good morning. I'm Gary Bauer with American Families, American Values. It's great to be here this morning, but I have to be completely honest with you, as good as it is to be with like-minded people on such an important morning, it's also sort of sad that we've got to be meeting outside of a court of the United States, fearful that this court or the court above it may in fact do something so fundamentally wrong in a country like this country. It's been alluded to several times this morning. I know you all know it already, but it's worth repeating. America was built on a revolutionary idea. It's in the second paragraph of the Declaration of Independence. Smack in the middle of that paragraph, the founders used about 23 words to define why this place was different. These words have sort of fallen out of favor, or when they're spoken, they're heavily edited to take out the most profound part of them. So it's worth reminding ourselves what the words say. They say, we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, are endowed by their government, no, endowed by their creator, the God of Abraham, with certain unalienable rights, among these the right to life. Even the founders before sonograms knew that without the right to life, the other rights are sort of beside the point. The right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That's the central idea of America. It's why we believe that everybody, whether it's a newborn with Down syndrome or a 90-year-old with dementia, have dignity and value and worth. Now, our government of this country, built on that idea, is telling us we must be complicit, not in a culture of life, but in a culture of death. And if we won't agree to do so, they threaten bankruptcy or worse. They offer us empty compromises, as if conscience could be compromised about. You can't cut conscience in half any more than you can cut a baby in half. So I pray that these judges will do the right thing, and if not, the judges above them will do the right thing. But I think it's worth reminding our government this morning that if by chance they don't do the right thing, that there are millions of Americans who get up every morning and believe it or not, in Washington, I know this is hard to believe, those Americans don't begin the day by asking themselves, what can I do this morning to please my government? They get up every morning asking, what can I humbly do today to please my God? Christians have gone through a lot through the centuries, tyrants, dictators, etc. Even now, our brothers and sisters in Christ are martyred around the world. If we have to make a choice here in America between bending our knee to HHS bureaucrats or bending our knee to the God of the universe, that's a pretty easy call for us to make. God bless you all. Thank you very much.